Hi guys, I'm here to do pregnancy week vlog 33, 33 weeks pregnant, and I must say I am really happy, I'm, I guess I probably say this every single week, but I'm just really happy to be at 33 weeks. Um, <laughs> definitely not really any new things going on, I mean, maybe some things have increased as in for, um, like her kicks and stuff, and, uh, just not really anything different. The only thing that's really irritating is that our insurance has been kind of bumped around a little bit because of the first of the year and um, some laws are being changed and so my midwife doesn't take my insurance anymore so we had to figure out a way to change that or I have to find a different midwife. So um, changing it hopefully shouldn't be a problem. Um, and if it is, you know, I mean, I might have to find a different midwife, which I'm really helping. I don't have to just because, I mean, I'm 33 weeks pregnant. I'm in my third trimester. I don't want to change midwives. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Today, all day today, I have just been busy and cleaning my house and, like, I hate cleaning my bathrooms. I hate it. I try to avoid them as much as I can. And today was the day I actually got to clean my bathroom and I cleaned my car and I vacuumed the entire downstairs area. So I was able to get all that stuff done. And uh, I don't really have any baby buys or mommy buys this week. Basically, I haven't bought anything for myself or baby E um, because my baby shower is not next Sunday, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after. And, um, just going to see what exactly, um, is given to me from that. And then we'll go from there to see if I need to still purchase some things. I don't really think I need to just because, uh, <laughs> I mean, I already had a baby before, so I already have a, a lot of the stuff. So the only thing I don't really have is just girl items, just girl pink, purple items. Um, I mean, and there's like a couple things that I asked for that I never got last time that would have been really helpful and nice to have this time so definitely registered for those and I'm really excited to see exactly um, what I mean I also did put on my invitation you know homemade gifts are definitely appreciated because I love homemade gifts love them um, oh yeah also yesterday we got our pack and playback from our friends and I didn't realize it but um, we actually got the whole pack and play from somebody and I thought all the pieces were there and they're not all there because it's one of those pack and plays that it's a pack and play and a bassinet and it has a changing table. Well, it doesn't have all the pieces to complete the bassinet. All I can do is the changing table or the pack and play. So unfortunately, I won't be able to use that in my bedroom. It just be too far to reach down to pick her up to, um, to have in our room if she were to cry in the middle of the night or anything. So we're going to have to figure out something with that. Maybe I'll have to... Um, make or buy a Moses basket and um, as of right now the plan is to try and make my son's uh, bed a little bit more so it feels more like a crib um, so that we can take his crib and put it into our room. Um, he hasn't been comfortable sleeping in a big boy bed because I mean a kid's used to all four um, walls around him being enclosed while he's sleeping. Well, in his twin size bed, it's not like that. It's just sitting on the floor. It's just open air around him. He's not used to it. So my husband and I have agreed to go ahead and just buy a bed frame with a footboard and a headboard and then get one of those things from Toys R Us or Babies R Us, um, like a side rail type thing to kind of help keep him feel like he's secured. And hopefully that would that will really help with um, with him going to sleep in his big boy bed. But we don't really have to worry about that until she's about maybe two or three months old. So, um, which is actually coming up pretty quick. So we need to figure something out. Um, I don't really want to buy a bassinet. And I don't want to ask people to buy me a bassinet. Because I'll have to figure out what to do with it after she's done with it. And, um, which isn't usually a problem. But I feel bad having to give it away if I, I just don't have room for it in my house. I mean, if I'm done using it. Um, it's going away, especially since we're not planning on having kids for another three or four years after that. So I have to continue continuously tell um, my husband's mom. She wants she loves to be super helpful, and I really do love and appreciate it. But I have to tell her no, we don't need anything. We don't need another crib. I don't want another crib because 
what if all of a sudden it works out for Josiah? You know, what if he can sleep in a twin size bed, just making it feel more secure? So, um, so that's been kind of interesting and just kind of my mother in law, she's so sweet. I love her to death, but she, she thinks we need all these things that we don't need. And basically, I'm the type of person where. <laughs> If we're not going to use it for very long, why buy it, you know? I mean, yeah. And we got a bassinet last time, um, and I ended up getting rid of it just because it's sitting in Josiah's room not being used. So we need something that's either, like, dual-purposed, um, or we need something that, you know, like the pack-and-play was a great thing because it had the bassinet portion, which kind of sat up a little bit higher than the actual pack-and-play itself had the pack and play for when she's older and it has the changing table right there um so um maybe we'll just look around and buy one of those i don't know we'll see um but the first plan is just to see if maybe my son will sleep in his big boy bed um here in a couple weeks after we get all the supplies and get it all figured out so that's what's been going on there um Oh, I guess I did get some baby things for Christmas. I can go ahead and get those and show those to you guys. They're really, really cute. Let's see. There they are. Okay. So... So my sister and my mother-in-law um, kind of went a little bit uh, wanting to spoil her because um, this is the first, the second grandchild on my mother's side and this is the third grandchild on my husband's mom's side, my husband's side. So, um, but it's, uh, but basically because we live so close to them, closer to them than all their other kids. Um, like for my husband's side, we seem to get more, a little bit more spoiled. <laughs> so, um, this is what Ben's mom bought. Super, super cute. This little, this little outfit here. It's just like a one piece outfit with the pink elephant. It's got polka dots and like neon, neon pink stripes. And this is a newborn size. So this is really cute. And it has like, look at these little buttons. They're a little sparkly. And those little ruffles. So she got that. And she also got her, um, this little overall type thing. So here's like the little shirt that goes underneath it. It's just plain white. Um, with like the red on, around the collar. And there's a little red bow. Little ruffles. So that goes underneath this thing. This cute little black overall type things with the little cuffs at the bottom. I like these. I like little cuffs. I think they're cute. And little pocket. There's like a little bow there. Little ruffles. So this is a cute little overall type thing. Also newborn. And she also got her two pairs of socks. A black pair and just a white, plain white pair. Which, I mean, you can't have too many newborn socks. I mean, my son, we lost them all the time. And... I actually was going through the socks that people were giving me because I remember specifically the socks that always fell off my son and I ended up putting those in a box to give to somebody else because there's no way those are going to stay on. So, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. The super cute fuzzy ones that always fall off. Yeah. And this one my sister got. This is for three months. It's got a little elephant. My sister knows I love elephants. So, T for two. A little elephant, a little birdie. And it's it has little pink on it. It's got some blue and pink flowers. And at the little footies here, there's a little tiny elephants. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Super, super cute. Just like a regular sleeper onesie type thing. So I have already gotten so many clothes and I am so thankful for all the clothes I have been getting and um, so thankful that, I mean, <laughs> there's just really nothing to complain about especially when you're getting so much help to um like to clothe your baby it's really great so um yeah so the only things I'm really looking forward to is actually my friend her baby shower is next week so I'm really excited for that because I actually made her um made her a blanket 
And that one blanket that I told you guys about, the one with the cute little bicycles, she absolutely loved it. Um, actually, come to find out, she told me, I think it's her diaper bag that is the same print, only it's orange bicycles. And which is just so perfect, right? I mean, I had no idea whatsoever. Um, all I did was just saw that print and I just, it just made me think of her. I'm like, oh, that is so her. Um, I couldn't really find the other prints that were kind of like more her. But um, she wanted something more boyish and different, and that's what she got, and she absolutely loves it. So I'm really excited for that. Oh, and I'm going to show you um, I made Josiah's blanket. <laughs> I'm, like, walking all the way over here. You guys are going to have to excuse my dresser over there. I'm right in the middle of sanitizing and cleaning everything and, um like moving furniture around so that's why there's like a Lysol there and a weird picture of those breast pump items I'm trying to get together so this is my son's blanket that I made for him for his birthday little Superman it says man 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 of steel on it man of steel my my husband is jealous he wants this um, Superman is my husband's all-time favorite and then just like all the way around the edges is just this red fabric here and it's got the um, the corners there done and then on the back side so this is like the front side and the back side there's that so it kind of looks like you know when he gets older he can pretend it's like a cape or something I don't know so I'm really excited to give that to him um, Josiah has already seen it and cuddled with it but I just put it away and he won't remember by his birthday anyway so anyway I think that's gonna be it for baby stuff. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly really quick at the end of this. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's the belly at 33 weeks. She's definitely kind of sticking out there today. <laughs> and um, also, when my midwife ch went ahead and did my, um, and I do have some stretch marks from her already, sadly. But they're all like in a different place, so there's that. So you can already see some down there, sadly. But she just is so much farther forward than my son was. So if I were to see where she's at, she is just right down the middle here. Because I can feel how hard it is right here compared to everywhere else. Oh yeah. So, and she is head down. So that's going to be it for the pregnancy vlog. Oh yeah, and when my midwife um, went ahead and weighed me, I was not that weight at all. Um, she thought that I was 164, which I'm not because um, about <laughs> like three days after that, I uh, went ahead and went on the scale and I was still at the same amount of pounds like I was actually 155, not 157. So I think that she meant to see 154. So I don't know. Um, so I guess to me, I guess I really haven't gained any weight. So when I go in um, next week or the week after to my appointment, I'll just have to let her know that's what happened because she was a little bit, she couldn't remember what the weight was. And then she goes, it was 164. I said, sure. <laughs> so I wasn't exactly sure myself. Um, so when I go in there, I just had to let her know so that she doesn't get too freaked out that I lost 10 pounds instead of gained 10 pounds. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this week, and I guess I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.